Don't like Gmail's interface and would rather manage your Gmail inside Outlook? This is Ben with MakeUseOf.com, and today I'm going to show you how to sync up your Gmail so you can use it right inside Outlook. Now before we do this, there are a few preliminary steps you'll need to go through. The first thing you want to do is open up your Gmail in any browser and sign in if, you, if needed. Next what you'll want to do is click on the Settings gear on the top right of Gmail and select Settings, and it'll open up your Gmail options. Click on the Forwarding and Pop IMAP tab here, and what you want to do is make sure that IMAP Access, under that header you have Enable IMAP checked. Now, email has two main protocols, IMAP and POP. Um, IMAP is the newer and more modern one. POP is older and doesn't support a lot of modern email features. Um, you can use POP with Outlook, but unless you have a specific reason to, you should use IMAP because POP is older and doesn't isn't as reliable, doesn't work as well on multiple devices. So you want to make sure you check Enable IMAP here, and then if POP is enabled, you'll see a Disable POP button here. Uh, click on Disable POP because you might get duplicate email later on if you don't do that. Uh, click on Save Changes, and then you're done on this page. The only other thing you might want to do is under this folder size limits, you may want to select a certain amount of emails so that Gmail only syncs uh, folders that have a smaller amount of emails so you're not overloading your Outlook, downloading thousands of messages all at once. The next step only applies if you have two-factor authentication on your account. If you do, you'll want to head to the uh, Sign In and Security page. So click on your account in the top right corner and click My Account to open up a new page. And then from here, go to Sign In and Security, and then scroll down and you'll see an App Passwords uh, header. When you click on that, you'll be brought to the App Passwords page. Now what this does is let you create a special one-time password uh, to use with certain applications. And the reason that this exists is because uh, certain apps do not work properly with Gmail's two-factor authentication. So if you try to type in your Gmail password into Outlook, it'll just give you an error. So what you want to do here is you can click Select App. You can choose Mail and Windows Computer or Mac, whatever you use. Um, if you want to, this is just for your purposes, so you know what devices that you've created a password for. You can also click Custom Name, type in a name like I did here, Outlook on Desktop. So that's all you have to do in Gmail. The next thing you want to do is open Outlook. Now these instructions will assume that you've already had an account added to your Outlook. Um, if you don't, when you open up Outlook for the first time, it'll prompt you to walk through. So just follow the steps from there. Inside Outlook, you're, want, you're going to want to go to File, and then on the Info tab, you can click Add Account. And just give it a second and it'll ask you to add your account. So go ahead and type in your Gmail account and click connect. You won't need to click advanced options. Uh, the newer versions of Outlook actually have a much easier process of adding your account. So you won't need to click this unless there's some kind of problem. So if you click on connect, just give it a second. And then you're going to have to enter your password. Now if you entered, if you created that app password earlier, go ahead and put that in. Uh, if you don't use two-factor authentication, go ahead and type in your standard Gmail password. Click connect. Give Outlook a second, and you should see account setup is complete. Uh, if you don't see that, make sure that you typed your password in correctly. Uh, make sure that you're enter entering the app password if you use two-factor authentication. And sometimes you'll get an error where it says it won't work. Just click retry once or twice, and it may go through. Um, the other thing you may have to do if that doesn't work, if you don't use two-factor authentication, uh, Google has a security setting called Less Secure Apps. And basically what that does by default Google does not let you access your account through insecure apps like outdated versions of mail on the iPhone and things like that. Uh, Outlook can fall under that sometimes. So if you don't use two-factor authentication and you're getting an error about your password and you're sure you're not typing it wrong, uh, you want to jump into this link and just enable that less secure apps option. So once you've done that, we'll go back to Outlook. You can uncheck this Outlook mobile option unless you want to use it on your phone. If you don't already use Gmail, click OK. And then on the left side, you will see um, your, your Gmail, everything come up, uh, just like you would in Gmail. So you've got all your folders, um, you can toggle them, you can read your email, and because you've used IMAP, as we discussed earlier, uh, this will sync everything live. So if you read a message or delete it or reply um, in Outlook, it'll sync all that to your Gmail, and you'll be able to see it on your phone or on your other devices. Uh, when you use multiple accounts in Outlook, we'll reply to this message here, uh, you'll notice this from option, so you can change what email address you're responding from. Uh, do take care with this, it's convenient. 
if you use more than one uh, address in Outlook, but you can also accidentally respond from the wrong address, and that could be uh, inappropriate depending on the circumstances. So that's really all you need to get Gmail inside Outlook. Uh, there are a few other things you might want to do. This process by default does not um, link in your Google Calendar or your Google Contacts, so we will have links uh, in the description of this video and also in the full text version of this article uh, that describe how to uh, hook up your calendar and contacts. Two other quick things you might want to do, if you go to File, click on Account Settings, and then click on the Account Settings drop-down again. If you select the email address that you've just added, you can click Set as Default, and then Outlook will open it for you when you open up your uh, Outlook app instead of opening whatever one you had before. And if you don't want to sync all of your mail, you can click Change. And then down here in the bottom right, the default is all. You can drag this to change to a different amount of uh, time. The lowest is one month. Maybe you don't want to have all that email on your computer. You'd rather just have a couple of months of your latest messages. Um, and you, you can do that to, to limit that. So, yeah, that's really it. That's how you get uh, Gmail and Outlook. This is the basic procedure. Uh, be sure to subscribe to make use of YouTube channel if you're interested in more content like this. And check out the full article for some additional help. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.